The housing market in the UK is in deep trouble. Sales are down and the market is plagued by a lack of supply and affordability. On top of this, the number of fresh properties coming onto the market is also declining, leaving buyers and sellers nervous about both the value and affordability of property. Inside the home, it's the same story. Energy bills are on the rise, and the continued wage squeeze means that money is regularly tight for homeowners. But that isn't all. Many people are increasingly concerned about the impact our housing is having on the environment, and domestic energy efficiency is one of the most underappreciated opportunities in the UK's efforts to tackle climate change. The International Energy Agency has said energy efficiency should be recognised as the first fuel, offering a win-win-win in terms of lower emissions, lower energy bills and improved energy security. To meet the UK's climate change targets, we will need to improve nearly every home in the UK with energy efficiency measures at a rate of more than 1.5 homes every minute between now and 2050. Right now, we are falling far short in both the rate and depth of interventions. One of the ways we can solve this issue is through deep home retrofit. Deep retrofit is about looking at things like wall insulation, triple glazing, roof insulation. But it's also about looking at things like uh, air quality in the building, uh, mechanical air ventilation systems, using heat recovery on those systems so that as we draw cold air in, we preheat that with warm air that we're moving out of the building. Deep retrofit for me is where you are looking at a home in this uh, scenario and looking at all of the aspects of that dwelling and either tackling them all together at the same time or certainly having a plan that is credible and sensible for ensuring that the, any interventions that you're making can be followed up sensibly with the other interventions in order to end up with a fundamentally better dwelling. We've got to do something with our housing stock, a lot of which has been built in decades or centuries past and was obviously built to standards that were right for the time but we've got to think about what are the standards that are right for the future. I think that there has been a lot of focus on uh, new build by way of national housing policy. We know there's a housing crisis, we know we're not building enough new homes, and it's an easy metric to, to measure. What we've been doing typically in the UK is incremental measures, so we invest in single measures quite often, um, things like loft insulation, cavity wall insulation, which are cheap, pay for themselves quite quickly with the energy savings. We've often done that without thinking about the future and what happens next. So it's done without the context of a, a kind of route map to get to 2050. And I think the UK policy drivers at the moment are still short-term targets. In many cases, that's taking people down the wrong route. So we've got people putting gas into properties now that they're going to have to take out again in the next sort of 10, 15, 20 years. Again, it's the least efficient way of doing it if you don't think about where you need to get to in the long run. It's quite shocking, some of the homes that we go into, where people are genuinely extremely cold to the point of any humidity in their home from their breath or from cooking condenses on the wall that turns into mould, yeah? Then you've got spores, and it's a spiral. And these people are genuinely very vulnerable and have no choice. One of the solutions to this housing problem is Energy Sprung. Energy Sprung is a revolutionary whole house refurbishment and new build standard and funding approach, with the goal of scaling this approach in the UK market. The social housing sector in the UK is being targeted as the launch market for these solutions, with a view to later scale to the private homeowner market. The Energy Sprung standard focuses on creating desirable homes. Because a retrofit completed under this programme utilises the best energy standard available, it uses the money that would normally be paid on energy bills and maintenance to pay for the works. The independent Energy Sprung UK market development team aggregates mass demand for high quality retrofits, 
and new build houses, and is working on delivering the right financing and regulatory conditions that will enable solution providers to deliver against this new standard. Using this approach ensures that this can be done whilst assuring the cost of living does not go up, because the standard guarantees real-life performance for both indoor comfort and energy use for up to 40 years. If you've got lots of money, then scaling up retrofit is, would be easy. The reality is we couldn't also afford it. Social housing is a great place to start because you get scale with a client that you can work with in order to create solutions that meet their particular needs and you start that learning process. But of course, those homes are also owned in the private sector and therefore those solutions can then be applied into the private sector at the point where the costs have started to fall. There's not been a great drive from government, um, to, to be frank. We, we need a, a much clearer strategy. There are 2.4 million homes in the UK that we could apply this strategy to now without having to get into any uh, complex analysis. So we need some guidance and, and we need some clear drive uh, in order to be able to help to meet those 2050 targets. But in addition to that, we also need to upskill the supply chain. And we've had some attempts at that and, and we've been uh, marginally successful, but I don't think that we've actually really encapsulated the imperative. And as a consequence, we haven't got people who have become enthusiastic about this. It's about leaping to 2050 standards to net zero energy in one go. And um, it doesn't make any sense for us to be planning our investment over 30 years without thinking about the end and without thinking about where we need to be. So for us, it's about being efficient in the way that we try and achieve our homes for the future. And it's about providing homes and communities where tenants want to live, where people want to live, that's our vision. And uh, Energy Sprong is really a way of doing that and regenerating. And in the long term, it's going to be self-financing, so we can achieve all of those things without actually spending any extra money than we would have done already. I think one of the most exciting things about Energy Sprong is it, it's finally taken a holistic view. What, what we've had previously is a number of small attempts, but actually what we've got with Deep Retrofit is an opportunity to bring all of those things together. And actually, if we're going to encourage people to invest in supporting these kinds of programs and, and developing, we need to be able to point to some really good worked examples. We already know that's happened in Nottingham. We know that Nottingham are now looking at another 150 houses. And of course, what's really important with this is that local authorities can make a move because they have so much social housing that they can actually invest in in order to be able to, to do this kind of work. Nottingham City Homes was the first housing association in the UK that realised 10 net zero retrofits using the Energy Sprung approach. The 10 house pilot project is already complete and a rollout is now underway. 155 households are set to benefit during 2019 as hard to heat homes are transformed into desirable, comfortable and affordable homes for life. The Energy Sprung solution made a huge difference to these homes, impacting on real people and real lives. We need to see a continued push for higher standards in all new build and retrofit projects across the UK to ensure that we meet our climate change targets, improve our homes and engineer a better future for us all.